Personalized products are some of the best products that you can start selling in 2021. And today we're gonna to be looking at some unique personalized print on demand products that you can start selling on your Shopify stores right away. So firstly, we have this newborn baby hand with parents. So this is just an A4 poster that can be purchased. And I will leave all of the Instagram ads on the screen for each of these products so that you can go and see how they are being advertised. And as you can see for this print, the baby's name can be personalized and also their date of birth. And then this over here in the middle, this comes with ev with every single print. Now, as you can see with this store, you can't actually go and upload the name. You just go and send to them in the notes for the checkout. And as, as I mentioned, it doesn't come with the frame. So that's why it's only eight pound. And this website, Little Bumble Prints, they sell loads of these different personalized prints. So you can see this one is She Said Yes. So this is a marriage print. And once again, you can go and edit the names and the date that the person proposed. Now you can easily go and create prints like this on Shopify. So here is just a mock-up one I went and created. And I think this actually adds that extra level of personalization because if I go and click on add name and date of birth over here, I can actually just go and type in a baby's name and I can go and type in their date of birth over here. And you can go and see that it updates automatically, automatically live on the screen. Now I'm using an app called Product Personalizer to go and do this. So as you can see, the bits in the middle, so the actual picture and the born in lockdown, they're not customizable, but the actual name and the date of birth is customizable. So like I said, that just adds an extra level of customizability that little bumble prints aren't offering. So you can go and have a look at these types of products and then just go and add something extra on top to actually make them better. So that is the first product. The next one we have over here, which I thought was really cool. This website allows you to design your own crest for a t-shirt. So you can go and pick a product, then you go and pick your logo over here. So you can go and pick and all of the logos have a different meaning. Then if we just go and hit back over here, we can go and choose our initials and you can go and choose the fonts and type in your initials. And if we just hit next, then you can go and choose a motto. So they have some sort of pre-made designs that you can go and choose from. Now, once again, this is fairly simple to do with Shopify. So I've just created a basic concept for this. And if you just go and hit build your crest over here, we can see once again, we can go and choose the different crests and I've added a meaning to them. So we've got loyalty, bravery, kindness, and then you can go and choose your initials. So we've got GB and then you can go and choose the color. So you can go and add loads of these different variations to your products using the product personalizer app. And like I said, it's a pretty basic concept, but something that I think is very unique being able to build your own crest. So like I said, you could just go and add as many options as this website has over here, just doing pretty much the same thing. The next one we have is, and I thought this was a really cool one, this is a love story and people can go and design their own love story book. So if we just go and click on get started now over here, you can basically go and design your own character. So the giver of the book and the receiver of the book. So if we just go and create yourself and we click on start new over here, you can go and choose a feminine character is an adult. What's the name? So if I just put in something for the name here, and then you basically go and choose from loads of different styles. So you can choose the body, the face, the hair, and all of those types of things. Now, this is fairly in depth. So you would have to go th through a fair bit of trouble to go and do this, but it is certainly possible. So once again, I've just gone and created a basic concept. This one's a little bit different. So this one is a custom made farm storybook. So if we just go and click on create book, over here and basically a parent can go and create a custom farm book for their child so they can go and put in their child's name so we could say by for let's say or instead of by we could say for baby john let's say so you can go and put the child's name in then over here you can go and choose your different animals and backgrounds so if i just go and choose a cat let's say it changes this part over here to a cat if i change the backgrounds i can go and change this to a well let's say over here so it changes this truck over here to a well and then once again you can go and change all of the animals so if i go and change this to a duck instead of a horse so like I said, this is just a basic concept that I've created based off of this website over here. Now you can go a little bit more in depth with 
the different variations that you can go and add just like this website Lovebook has done. And you can go and do this by getting clip art from a website such as Creative Fabrica. You can buy clip art from loads of different websites. So you can see over here, they've got different couples and you could basically just, instead of adding how I've added the farm animals here, you could go and add different couples that people can go and choose from, or they can go and build their own character just the same way that this love book website is doing it. Now, if we go to the pricing and the shipping over here, we can see a hard back book is 37 pounds. So that's fairly expensive. That's sort of almost $50. And you can actually go and connect a print on demand book service to your website. So you can go and use a print on demand book service such as Lulu. And as you can see over here, their books for a hardback is starting from $10.75. And you can go and sell these books for $40, $50. And they do have a Shopify app. So it's called Lulu Express. And you can basically just go and connect that up and sell print on demand books. So let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a full in-depth tutorial on how to go and sell print on demand books. Similar to this one over here where people can go and design their own farm book or a love book or any other type of book that you could potentially think of. The next one over here that we have is mynamenecklace.com. So obviously, as the name suggests, people can just go and create different types of jewelry with their name on or an anniversary date or any type of date that holds some sentimental value to them. So if we just go and have a look over here, they've got bra bracelets, necklaces, all loads of different types of products that you can go and customize and add engraving to. Now, once again, this is really easy to go and create with Shopify. So you can see over here, I've just got a basic engraved necklace. And if I just go and click on personalized design, over here, I can just go and change the name. So where we've got Elliot here, I could just go and change this to anything else. Let's say John, and it goes and gives you a live update so you can see it live on the screen. So once again, really easy to go and create these types of products and websites like My Name Lecklist are making huge amounts of money just by going and doing this. And you can go and once again, connect it up to a print on demand service like Printful, who actually will allow you to go and engrave these different types of jewelry. The next one I want to show you is a the book of everyone. Now this one is a little bit more in depth, you probably would need some custom code to do this, but I'm going to show you a basic concept of how you could do something similar to this as well. So these allow you to go and create a really cool map based on where you live and sentimental things around a certain area. So if I go and click on create map, over here. And basically what they allow you to do is go and enter in a location. So if I just type in London, let's say for example, and click on let's go. And then we can go and create a poster based off of London. And I can go and add hearts, I can go and add stars and things like that. So you can go and move it around where you want to go and do it, you can change the style. So you see you can change the sort of colours and things like that. So it's really cool. Now you can go and do something similar to this. So you, you probably I haven't figured out a way how you can actually go and pick the location, but you can go and create a basic concept over here. So this is one that I sort of just thought of off the top of my head, which is a love poster based off of different states. So the person, two people, maybe they met in a certain area or in a certain state or wherever it is in the world. So they can go and add their names and they can go and choose their state. So if we go and click on pick state and names over here, you can see I've just gone and put in some basic images of different states. Now, obviously, when you take a bit more time to build your product, you can make nicer images. So you can see over here, we've got some basic states, Texas, Tennessee, if I missed out your state, I'm really sorry, I'm not from the US. So I don't really know which, which states to include, I just went and put them in alphabetical order. And then over here, people can just go and put in their name. So I could go and say Elliot or whatever it is. Now I've just put in here, add emojis. So they can go and add emojis. So if we just delete this, you can see I've got that heart in there. So they can go and copy and paste emojis in there as well. So just thought this was a really cool concept that is similar to this map concept over here. The next ones I want to show you are two stores that allow you to go and design your own customized phone case. So if we just go and hit personalize over here, this is the Case Club LA. So you can see you can just go and change your initials, you can choose gold, silver, 
all of those types of things. And then this one over here, which is Whoop Case. Now they allow loads of different personalizations on different phone cases. So you can see over here, we've got a football phone case. We've got this one with a city. We've got this one, which is like a boarding pass, which is really cool. This one, you can add a phrase. So if we just take this city one, for example, again, once again, I've just gone and chosen the states again, just to go and show you a basic concept. And I've just put since their birth date. So people can go and add in their birth date or their birth year, and then they can go and pick their state. So you can go and click choose state over here. Once again, they can go and choose their state. So we just go and choose Utah. And I can go and say since 19... 95 something like that so once again just another cool concept that i've come up with based on these other phone case websites that you could easily go and replicate when you are building a shopify store for personalized print on demand now the last one i have not created a basic concept for but i just wanted to go and show it to you just to give you an idea of how much you can actually sell these types of personalized products for so as you can see on this website silvercut they are going and selling these dog chains and they're selling them sort of, this is about $45, this is about $40. So they're fairly expensive. And if we just go and have a look on AliExpress over here, you can see that you can go and get one of these products for $4 plus $4 shipping. So that's about $8 and you can go and sell that for around $40. So it's a really crazy markup for these personalized products. So that's why I think that they're one of the best types of products that you can start selling right now. So those are some cool and unique personalized print on demand products that you can start selling on your stores right away. Let me know down in the comments if you want to me to make some more full in-depth tutorials on personalized print on demand. And also make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel for some more e-commerce and print on demand content. And I'll see you all in the next video.